getting ready to build a miniature greenhouse that goes over my raised beds. Um, I've seen several of these designs on YouTube and images and uh, I'm kind of using uh, some ideas from a couple of different ones. So I've got the base laid out. I still have to put a part in that ties the two sides together to kind of strengthen it in the center. Uh, you'll have to excuse my chickens see me outside and they want attention. So if you hear them, that's why. Uh, but basically, on you've got an end piece, just a straight piece that goes into a 90. You've got uh, a T, another straight piece, another T, another straight piece, another T, another straight piece, another T, another 90. And then that goes back over to your end piece. So when I get it all done, uh, you'll be able to see kind of how it looks. But this is kind of the, the base of it. Um, I make made this one. It's not as wide as the bed. You can kind of tell here there's a gap on the edges. Because I've made it to fit in between the 4x4 four four post. So it will actually go all the way down on the ground. And then what that does is that allows me some room to be able to lift it up and add trays to it or water the trays, etc. So you'll see more as I go along in this build. So the next thing I'm going to do is cut some short pieces to go in these tees, which will raise the sides up. And then uh, I'll show some more a little later on and I'll give a parts list how this was made at the end. Okay, so since the last segment, I went ahead and put another T just about in the center and another bar to go across just to kind of give it some stability. On the T's that were already here, I come up, I measured about 14 inches. I didn't really have any idea. You can make it really whatever size you want. Um, so I come up 14 inches, I put a 45. Then I come up again, put another 45, and then on the ends, there's little two short stub pieces here that goes on the ends will be a T, and then farther down uh, for the other ones in the center will be crosses, and then there will, on the end will be another T. So uh, I've just kind of got this all dry fitted, and I don't know that I'm ever going to glue it together. But uh, I think dry fitted is fine. I just kind of eyeballed it. Uh, to give you an idea, this end piece right here when I measured it was from elbow to elbow about 36 and a half inches. And then there's probably another half inch on either end, so 37 and a half there. This piece here is 14 inches before it was stuck down, before it was, and the pieces are in. And uh, the roof section is from elbow to elbow, plus an inch would be 23 inches. So this piece right here is 23 inches. And uh, that's pretty much it. So uh, let me go ahead and get the rest of this put together. Uh, I'll show you what it looks like when it's completed before I put the plastic on and then I'll show you what it looks like after I put the plastic on Okay, now I have the frame completed Pretty easy to do uh, The top again you got Another 45 another 45 Combined with that 45 makes a 90. Little stub piece of pipe. On the ends is a T. And in the center are crosses. So they're pretty much the same all the way down through there. Um, pretty easy to set up. Took me about maybe an hour, hour and a half to build the whole thing. All I've got left to do now is cover it in plastic and then uh, get me some 
seed trays underneath of it. I got this plastic either from Lowe's or Home Depot, same place I got all the PVC pipe. I can't remember which one it is. Um, it's basically 10 by 25 foot, 6 mil. And then I'm using Gorilla Tape. So basically what you do is you drape it over the frame and then just tape it, wrap it around the bottom and then tape it to itself. And uh, that's what I'm getting ready to do now. And this is finished. I basically just rolled the plastic over. Uh, one side looks a whole lot better than the other. But it's done, it's good enough. And I know, uh, because this is going on YouTube, it, there's probably someone out there on YouTube that knows how to do things better than I do. And they're probably going to say I should have stapled that plastic instead of taping it. And that's the nice thing about YouTube. Because if you want to do something differently than I did... That's your choice. But I decided to use tape. Mostly because I was out of staples.